The new season of Fortnite is officially out. Chapter 5 Season 3 is here, and that means we have new settings that will not only improve your FPS, but your visibility in the game and overall just your gameplay in general. We're going to be going through all of my keyboard settings, all my key binds, all my graphic settings. Literally everything is going to be in this video, and then you guys are going to get gameplay at the end of it. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you're new, if you guys want to see more content just like this. Jumping directly into it, we're going to start with our display settings. Now, I am playing a stretched res, which is 1720 by 1080. I think it gives you a better FPS performance. Now, on keyboard and mouse, it feels a lot better for me. Now, you guys might be at, looking at my frame rate, seeing 60 FPS, and you might be confused, but don't worry. I have my FPS locked in the game files at 357. There's no specific reason. That's just what I use. I find it better for me. Now, my brightness is at 100, and I am on a colorblind mode called Dutronope, and I'm using colorblind strength 3. I believe this gives you the best visibility in the game. It just makes your game overall look 20 times better and cleaner. Now my 3D res, I have it customized in the Fortnite settings. So if you guys do want to see a video on how I'm doing this, let me know and I will show you guys that. My game, as you have seen it, it does not look like it's at 0%, but it makes it feel 20 times better. And then like normal, we're on all low for everything for the lowest input delay and the highest FPS possible. Going through our sound settings, everyone's sound settings are going to be completely different. Obviously, you know, mine are different. You guys can copy them if you'd wish, but you know, there's nothing too crazy going on here. We're on high sound, you know, nothing crazy, but I'll just kind of scroll through it for you guys. Then we come to the bread and butter, you know, the main settings, we'll say. And then we have our NA East, you know, zero ping, something slight for me. Uh, toggle sprints on, auto open doors on. You know, you guys can copy this, hold jump and hold press jump. Hold the swap pickup, one of the most important binds in the entire game is very overlooked. Literally controls if you can just swap the gun in your inventory instead of having to like cycle through. 20 times better. Uh, for my configure loadout, I just have my shotgun. That's it nothing else because we're playing keyboard now i only want my shotgun in my first slot when i was on controller i had a whole bunch of stuff set up but that's just not me anymore now my building i do have edit on release on when i play keyboard and my pre-edits are on as well when i'm playing keyboard so if you guys do want to copy that you know i think it's really good and for me it's been working out really amazing if you guys have kept up on my uh recent gameplay or if you watch towards the end you know my gameplay at the end it's been working for me really really well fov they're both at max or not they affect vehicle fov not your actual fov and then i have my replays on but if you actually want better performance you can turn these off now these settings right here these energy saving settings these two settings need to both be off this can impact your performance heavily turn them both off restart your game come back your game will feel 20 times better than it just did rocket racing i don't play it i don't even touch these settings at all completely pointless to me now if we go through our hud settings here we have my reticle settings, you know, just on, on, and then I have the game add up for me because I play Fortnite for a living. I'm not trying to do math. I, that's too much work for me. Our hit icons, hit and icons, not hit icons. And I have my damage scale at the max. I'm old. I'm trying to see what I'm looking at. And then my HUD scale is at 80%. I'll just kind of go through this. If you guys want to go like copy my exact HUD settings, it's completely up to you. I mean, kind of pointless to be honest. Now, I used to play controller, so I will go through my controller settings as well because I know some people do still want those. And when I do play controller, these are still the same settings I use when I play console events. Uh, I do not use any gyro options at all. It's completely pointless, waste of time. Don't use these. You're wasting your time with it. It's disgusting. Jumping into my keyboard and mouse settings, which, guys, I, like I said, I did switch over to keyboard and mouse. So these are very important if you guys are copying any of my settings or trying to, like, play with me and, like, get better with me. This is exactly what I'm using. A 3.1, 3.1 X and Y, and that's on 1600 DPI, by the way, with a targeting sensitivity of 50 and a scope sensitivity of 50 as well. My building and editing sensitivity are both at 115%. And I have both of these options on because little do a lot of people know, turn both of these on to ignore your controller and you have a lot lower input delay on your keyboard and mouse. Now, these are my double movement options. You guys can just copy these as well as you can, you know, 59, 74, and 135. They are absolutely amazing. I've been using them for a long time now. I haven't touched any of these other settings. I, uh, we don't fly in the game. Like there's nothing, there's really nothing to it. And if you guys are curious, I am using the Razer Viper V3 Pro. I think it's one of the best mice on the market right now. It's brand spanking new. Uh, it has an 8K pulling rate and has so much to offer. Jumping on over into my keybinds, I'm not gonna go through every single one. I'm gonna kind of go through the more important things. You know, my sprint, it's on my mouse button. Uh, combat's obviously normal, reloads are my use is scroll wheel and T. Everyone's use is different. My pickaxe is on my mouse. All my weapon slots are one through five. Okay, now this is the main section of stuff here. My crouch is C, my wall is Q, my floor is F, my stairs are E. I have all keyboard binds for 
this i don't like using mouse buttons at all i don't know it's just me my roof is shift and my trap is x all keyboard binds feel amazing for me not everyone's gonna be like that so remember pick your binds to your preference do not copy and paste someone else's you can use someone else's as a guide to find your own but overall if you're comfortable with your binds you're gonna see yourself improve a lot more now i edit with v and i have scroll reset that's the best part of keyboard come on now and then that's that's basically it i don't think there's too much more to look at here my emotes l i mean that's kind of pointless there's not too much to look at here so i'll just kind of like skim through them i'm honestly not gonna go through all these to be honest with you now like i said i did play controller and some people still watch me for controller and i will be playing controller on console events so i am going to go through these if you guys don't want to see these you know just skip through you don't have to watch but i am going to go through this i am using Probably some of the same things you guys have seen a million times. Edit hold time, lowest possible. Slide hold times, 0 0.085. I don't touch these settings. It means absolutely nothing to me. Nothing at all. Vibration's completely off. I think it feels really, really bad. Uh, quick weapon. Now, don't use this setting. It's new. Fortnite tried to do something new. It doesn't work. It really sucks, to be completely honest with you. Now, the bread and butter here, which you guys really want to see, my sensitivity. We are on, we don't use this because we are on advanced options. So my build mode is 1.9 and my edit mode is 2.3. This gives me a really good range of slow and controlled building, but fast editing, which is exactly what I'm looking for. My look and horizontal speed is 40-40 with a 3-3 boost. This lets me hit insane shots. My tracking's amazing. My flicks are on, on point. Like it's just literally the best ever. Now my ADS is 6.6 with a 3.3 boost. This lets me literally fry. You guys have seen me play controller. You guys know exactly how it looks. I would copy these settings, honestly, like bar for bar, word for word. They are absolutely amazing. And we are playing on linear at 100% aim assist strength with a 10.12 dead zone. I had right stick drift. Normally I play, you know, normally I play 10.10, but I had like right stick drift for a while. So I just bumped up a little bit because I just didn't want to deal with it. Now, there's nothing really else to look at. If you guys want that little extra aim assist boost, make sure you guys turn this foot controller. It really helps. Now, we're just going to go through my binds just real quick. Again, we're just going to go through the important stuff that really, really matters. So, my jump is X, which is actually a back paddle. So, when I do play controller, I use four paddles. My jump is a back paddle. My switch mode is a back paddle. As well as my pickaxe and my sprint are all back paddles. So, if you see binds where you're like, how is he pressing that? It's most likely on a back paddle. So, okay. We have trap, you know, square roof you know all the build binds are like completely normal and then let me get to the editing so i edit with i edit with left stick or l3 and then i confirm with r1 or rb either or if you're playing xbox or not i use these same binds when i was on xbox and i reset with l2 or lt so those are like the main controller binds everything else is pretty standard like i said i do use four paddles for the other things but other than that that is all the settings guys let's go and jump into the new season and get a crazy win going this season looks insanely fun, so I appreciate you guys for checking this out. Let me know if these settings helped you guys get better FPS or anything down below, and I appreciate you guys. Anything I'm using in my setup, by the way, mouse pad, mouse, or keyboard are all linked below if you guys want to go check them out and get them yourself. I love you guys, and enjoy the gameplay.
Bro, this car shit 